All right, so Caden has picked this bath bomb for us to use today from Moon's Harvest. It was called Moon Goddess, I believe. It smells really good. We just got back from our walk. We've been trying to walk every day. Um, I just recently started tracking my steps. <laughs> I don't have one of the fancy watches yet, um, but I do it on my phone, which is free. And I mean, just in case nobody else knew you could do that, I was amazed, but apparently everybody around me already knew that except me <laughs> but it's free it's not really accurate though you know because I don't carry my phone with me all day I literally only pick it up to go for my walk so it's certainly not tracking how many steps I actually take it's only tracking how many I walk <laughs> on my walk but uh, yeah so I'm excited someday to get a watch like a Fitbit I'm thinking I don't need all that technology and stuff, but I really only want it to track my steps, so I'm thinking of Fitbit. Let's see what else. Oh, yeah, back, back to walking. Yesterday, I basically what I've been doing is walking to the Dollar General every night. So we just take a bag with us and, and grab a couple items that aren't going to weigh too much and you know, since we do it every single day, then I don't have to buy a lot at a time. Like yesterday I bought butter and, you know. Today we went and got some waffles and whipped cream so that we can go pick our fresh strawberries out of the garden. Which, maybe I'll make a video of us doing so you can see I actually grew something. And we're gonna have uh, strawberries and waffles and whipped cream in the morning. I think I walked 200 steps less than I did yesterday, but that's okay. I'm working my way up. I'm not doing very many right now. We're, we're only hitting around 4,000, and I know 10,000 is a good number, but like I just, I just stopped smoking, you guys. So I figured I might need some surgery with this endometriosis problem, and I just wanted to kind of make it easier on myself. Plus, I, they've been trying to get me to do birth control for years, but as a smoker, I, I, I won't. So, so today is my fifth day with no cigarettes. I've been smoking since I was around 14, 12 or 14. <laughs> a very, very long time since I'm 40 now. I've never once tried to quit before, so this is my first attempt, and I haven't failed yet, or tomorrow I'll be day six. It's definitely hard though. Like, like I haven't failed, I'm, I'm doing good, but I still think about it all day long. <laughs> Getting, getting it out and being active. I mean, I know a lot of people say when you quit smoking, you know, eat more and you gain weight, and that is so not the case for me. Um, smoking actually kept me sitting on my butt most of the day, like content to play video games or content to just sit at my computer and smoke, you know? But uh, when I don't have cigarettes, then I'm like, I can't sit here. Who wants to play this? I need to go do something. Like, that's more when my real ADHD kicks in and I just gotta get up and go. So the walks and stuff are certainly helping. And then, you know, bath bomb sales and stuff certainly slowed down in the summer. So I think me and Kane are just gonna find some fairs and stuff to go to to sell some bath bombs at, which is mostly for our own pleasure. We're just gonna think of it more like a vacation where he can go ride the rides all day and I'll try to sell some stuff. 
I think one of them we're gonna use is like an annual fishing trip because it's by the river and him and his daddy can go fishing while I'm selling stuff. But yeah, we were, we're talking about making a summer bucket list today, so we might go roller skating and go to a movie. I mean, the things on our bucket list are, are pretty simple. I mean, be honest, like go to a movie. But since we live in a really small town and, and you know, you can just watch stuff at home for free, like we don't usually do things like that. So we're gonna try to at least go to one movie. Sorry, I know I'm having fun playing in these. This one wasn't very colorful, but you know, it's alright. It's kind of typical of Moon's Harvest. I still like them. It turned our water um, like a very pale blue green. I cannot break this. <laughs> I've been trying. I don't know if you can see over here, but there's a lot of oil, yeah, a lot of oil in the water from these back bombs, which I don't mind. I always have dry skin. People say, people say they uh, dry out in the winter. I'm pretty sure I'm dry all the dang time. <laughs> Although I, I am paying more attention this year, and I can say it is worse in the winter, but I'm still dry all the time. Which mostly probably has to do with being dehydrated, but I guess that's something else I need to work on. I've talked about that before. I won't need to do it again. <laughs> We're supposed to have a, an appointment today for my endometriosis, my very first appointment, but they cancelled it and so now I have to go in two days, but mm -hmm. it's finally done. We almost hit eight minutes, you guys. <laughs> but basically this is what we got. Just some feel good pale gray green blue water. <laughs> 